Hi everybody, happy Halloween! I'm back with the 13 Haunted Projects of Halloween and today is our final one, number 13. I figured I would end this series out with making a greeting card. I usually always make a card for the series and I haven't done one yet so we're going to do one today. I used the My Feet set from Art Impressions. Isn't it cute? I love this. So I use that stamp set. This is a super simple card and the nice thing about it is um, not only is it quick and easy to put together but you can use it for any theme. Christmas, Valentine's Day, Thanksgiving, whatever you want to use. Any holiday, any even birthdays. And you can use your scraps because it takes small pieces to put it together. So that's what I love about it. Um, but anyway, I used that stamp set for my sentiment on my little character. And then I used paper from the Trick or Treat pad from the Paper Studio. I love the colors of this paper. And um, so, oh, and I also used a little bit of the Studio G um, glitter glue. Okay? And this is my cute and simple Halloween card. I think he came out really sweet. And this is what I meant, these little pieces all back in here. You can use your scraps to put these together and you can pretty much do anything you want. And I left it blank inside because I might stamp Happy Halloween and then write a sentiment. Um, but for now I just wanted to leave it blank inside. And on the outside it says, trick or treat, smell my feet because my little monster has big feet. I think he's kind of cute. So let's get started making these. For the papers, um, and you see the glitter glue all around the edges, what I did is I cut my papers and then I went around all the edges with the glitter glue first and then I let it dry. So you may want to do that before you make your card. But I'm going to set the pieces there and give you all the measurements. So you want to start out with a card base that measures eight and a half by five and a half. And then you just want to fold it in half. And that's going to give you an A2 size card, um, which I think is four and a quarter by five and a half. Okay? And then you're going to want a black piece to go on top that measures five and three eight by four and one eight. I'm actually going to move this white paper for right now and put this on. When you put your black piece on, it gives you a white border. Okay, and I'm going to leave this card here so you can look at it. Our top striped paper piece here is one and a half by two and a half, two and a half long, one and a half wide. And when you do this, when you put your pieces on here, you're going to want to leave a little bit of a black border. If you can tell, every piece that's on here has a black border to it. So when you put your pieces on, that's how you want to leave it. You want to space it out so you can at least see about one eighth of an inch between all of these sections. Okay? So then our little skinny piece here that we're going to put on measures one and a half by three quarters of an inch and when I place it on I'm going to make sure I place it so that I leave that eighth of an inch in between the pieces. Okay, And then your bottom piece here measures two inches across by one and three quarter inches high and I'm going to show you what I mean when you place it you're going to want to leave that black border in there. Okay? White, black piece all the way around. Now we're going to put our green piece up in here. This measures 3 and 3 eighths by 2 and 3 eighths. And you're just going to eyeball it so you leave some of that black cardstock showing through. And then our bottom 
piece here in this corner measures one and seven eighths by one and three quarters. And you're gonna put that on. Okay, so that's what our card looks like now, and you can see that black cardstock showing through. And then all I'm gonna do is I put foam on the back of my image that I already colored up. I'm just gonna kinda center him closer to the top. Put him on, and then the trick or treat smell my feet sentiment. I also put on foam dot for dimensionals, and I kind of center that in the bottom right hand square. And that's it, guys. That's our simple but cute trick or treat card. I hope you guys have fun making yours and that you enjoyed this Halloween series this year. I will be back with some more Christmas projects I have upcoming, fall projects, and, and absolutely more craft show projects are ahead. So stay tuned. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a very happy Halloween. And if you have any questions, let me know. Take care.